Hi everybody, this is not officially another Creativity Under Pressure video. I realize that it has been quite some time since I've had a chance to talk to you guys, and so I wanted to say hello. The fact is I've been kind of hanging out, or hiding out, I should say, in my house, in kind of a cave, cocooning myself. Things have been difficult. I think that most of the world understands the difficulty that everybody has been experiencing because of the ongoing pandemic, the viral pandemic, and also because of the social pandemic that has been happening. So it has been tough. And I've also had a couple of personal blows that have made things much more difficult. So I've needed to really step back and just take care of myself and my family. But I wanted to say hello. It's September today and I'm feeling, dare I say it, pretty okay, whatever that means. And I wanted to share some of the stuff that I have been doing to nurture myself and my creativity. And that's mostly actually reading. So I've been reading a number of books. Um, I'm almost finished with Ali Smith's Autumn. She is a Scottish writer who I was recently introduced to, and she just did a talk at the Edinburgh um, Film uh, Book Festival last Friday. And she's been doing the seasonal novels. So Autumn is the first one. Uh, then, of course, winter, spring, and summer, and they've come out one a year for the past four years. So the final book, Summer, just came out, so I'm, I just picked up Autumn. And if you are someone who is really interested in story structure, this is a really good book to look at. Um, the way that it's put together is really quite interesting, quite different from traditional story structure. Um, I've also been reading a huge amount of poetry. This is The Big Smoke by Adrian Mateka, who uh, was one of our faculty members at Lesley University, actually, for a while. Um, and the, the thing that I love particularly about this one is that it is one of those books in verse. It is a biography in verse. And it tells the complete story of Jack Johnson at a particular time in his life, but every single poem could stand on its own as an amazing work of poetry. And towards the end, there is just this riveting series where uh, Mateka takes you through about and you're just going round after round and you literally have no idea what's gonna happen. Like, I mean, obviously if you know the fighter, you know what happens, but I certainly didn't. And I was so worried. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to peek ahead and see what happens, which is not a thing that you really associate with poetry, I think. So it was really quite an education for me in how poetry can work. And I, I really have been thinking about poetry a lot. Uh, another book that I am currently reading along with Autumn is this one, Obia Race and Racism, which was suggested to me by Lynn Joseph, who is another Trinidadian writer. And we said that we would um, try to read it at the same time and then talk about it. I am only on chapter two. Um, the chapters are long. <laughs> And it is dense academic reading, which, you know, is fine. It, it, I find it interesting, but also really infuriating because you really see how dismissive the world can be to women and uh, women's needs. It's just, it's infuriating. Uh, at the same time that, that it's fascinating. And we haven't even really gotten to the meat of the thing yet. So I'm really excited to get back to that. I think I'll finish the Ali Smith book first, probably this afternoon, and then I'll get back to Obia Race and Racism. 
And while we're doing that, today in the mail came Kamala Harris, Rooted in Justice. This is by Nikki Grimes. And I'm super excited. I haven't even like really cracked it open yet. I literally just took it out of the box. And so I'm super, super excited to read this one. Of course, my kids are both in their teens. I have a soon to be 18 year old and a 14 year old. So, you know, picture books are not really their thing these days, but I will read it with them and Barkley. Uh, Barkley likes any kind of book. So that is basically what I've been up to. I've been up to a lot of reading. I've been spending a lot of money at bookshop.org and my checkout list at the library is long. <laughs> and that's pretty much all I've been doing because it's really all I can handle. And I, that's okay because <laughs> that's what I can handle. But I really did just want to say hello to everybody and hope you're doing well.